If you need to get used to heights, a good way to start is trampolining. And as NASA say, rebound exercise is the most effective form of exercise yet devised by man. When you're a top billing presenter, you have to film at all hours of the day and night. But when you're a breakfast television host, you have to wake up incredibly early and be bright, bold, bubbly, and apparently bouncy. And the bounciest of them all is Leanne Manners. Woo! Leanne and her husband Mark have given their two children the best that their Lebanese and Greek South African cultures can give. Not to mention their good looks. You have two beautiful children. Tell me about them. Well, I mean, I've got little Gabriella. Gabriella is uh, turning three, so she is she's the absolute light of my life. This little thing is just she's full of love, she's full of energy. And, and then, of course, there's the face. boss. Here is Alexandro. This is my firstborn. He's probably the most famous. Everybody knows Alexandros. People used to affectionately call him or knew him as Butter. But but that's him, and they are just they're awesome. Yeah. I don't know. They're the best little things ever. I love them. This can really take it out of you and you seem quite fit. Listen, I'm about to climb Kilimanjaro. I'm sure I can bounce on a trampoline. Do you want to come and join me to do I this? I would most definitely like okay. to join you. I Not the most fun. elegant thing I've ever done, but it's listen. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it together. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to double bounce you. <laughs> Leanne lives her private life with her husband and children, and then her very public role as the anchor of SABC 2's Morning Live, where she's come to be seen as family by millions of South Africans waking up each morning. You've been in the game for so, so long. Has TV always been the game plan? I think it has been. I mean, you know, I've been in it for so long. I don't think there's another game plan. Uh, I've been on Morning Life for 11 years now. Wow. 11 years in August. And, uh, and, you know, it's just been prior to that, I was in television on business programs. And so I'd, I'd say about 15, 16 years I've been doing live television. And, you know, the audience has appreciated. I've been lucky enough to win a lot of awards doing what I love doing and, and to continue to still be nominated and accepted by the public. Uh, I'm really blessed and I love it. I really love it. With the highs come the lows. People think it's glamour 24-7, but it can be incredibly difficult. I think one of the biggest lows, if not the biggest low of my entire career, was losing my co-host. And I mean, you know, to find a team like Voya and myself was, you know, that's, that's a, it's a find that never normally happens in television, that you can work so well to each other for almost 10 years. Uh, and that was incredible. So losing him was tough on me and the program and my career. Uh, but, you know, I've managed to re-establish the program, keep it going, and myself, and it's been amazing. You talk about highs, I'm hoping reaching the top of Kilimanjaro, um, the highest point in Africa is going to be one of the biggest highs of my TV career and my life, and a life-changing thing as well. Invited to join Trek for Mandela, Leanne and Mark join celebrities like hip-hop artist Proverb and Isidingo's Jack Debna Rain in climbing to create awareness for the health needs of young women. My husband and I have a trainer coming to our house, so we don't have to go anywhere. He comes to us, and uh, we do some boxing in the garden. So I don't know if you want to join us. I do, no excuses. Come and join us. Good training, good training, this is it. Colin Michael White's twice-weekly boxercising plus gym strengthening have Leanne in top form. Well, I've never done boxercising, so I'm very interested to see how it works. Will you take us through some motions? Okay, so we're going to start off with the plank, which is great for your core. And then straight off the plank, we're going to do a reverse lunge. And then after that, we're going to do squats. Now, the reverse lunge and the squats are great for uh, strengthening your legs, which is good for climbing a mountain. Summiting Kilimanjaro means trekking up five kilometers in altitude into very low temperatures and potentially high winds. This lady's got it covered. I don't think you need to worry about anything. It seems like you've got these squats down. You know, the leg training has been the most difficult thing because, I mean, that is really what you need, I think, when you're up there walking up that mountain. And the West Club stairs, let me tell you, when we live in Joburg, that's the one place where you just need to be training so much is at the West Club stairs. So recently we actually did a, a challenge over there and we went 67 reps up and down the wow. West Club stairs. Now, the West Club stairs, one rep is up and down, 210 up, 210 down. And between my team, it was myself, my uh, cycling coach, and a cousin of mine, we finished 67 reps wow. in four and a half hours. So were you like Rocky Balboa and when you got to the top, oh, victorious, uh, savoring that moment. What a great No, you were like, not a chance. I was like, get me out of here. But you know what, talking about Rocky, 
Let's go box now. Uh -huh. I might be able to box like him. This I want to see. Let's do it. She's <laughs> boxing. I, I don't know. <laughs> Leanne definitely has that eye of the tiger, and it's working for her for fitness and for stress release. What is it about boxing that you love? You know, this gets the heart rate up unbelievably. Gets all your frustrations out. It is. For me, this is the best form of exercise. You seem so incredibly determined. I could see that look in your eye. Is that who you are as a person? You, yeah. achieve, you, you set a goal and you achieve it. I do, I really do. It's just, it's, it's in my character. When I, when I want to do something, I, I need to do it properly. Wow. It's, just, it's just the way I am. For someone who only started cycling this year, it's impressive that this career woman, wife and mother of two, is covering 40 kilometers almost every time she gets in the saddle. As for the family rides, she'd do these all day, every day, if she could. Is being a mom the best thing that you have ever done? I think it is. I have done a lot in my life, I've seen a lot, but this is the greatest achievement. For me, looking at my kids and looking at them happy, nothing makes me more satisfied in life than to see my kids happy. And, and that is, for me, the greatest achievement. Married for 10 years this September, after their climb, Leanne and Mark will be celebrating with a week's R&R &R in Zanzibar. Your wife has been in the game for so long. You must be incredibly proud of everything that she's achieved. Incredibly proud. She's yeah. amazing. She manages to fit in so much in her day. It's, it's, it's awe-inspiring. She's always busy, always on the go, always manages to do exciting things with us and involve us and now we're embarking on a trip, the two of us, to Kilimanjaro, which we're so excited about. And um, we're going to miss the kids, but uh, it's something that the two of us are going to do together and remember together. It's going to be amazing. You guys have trained together, you're going up the mountain together. What's it going to be like when you summit together? When there are things you can do together and there are things that you can experience together, you grow together. I mean, and this is something that nobody can take away from us. Wherever we get to, however far we go, I mean, it's just so far the bonding has been incredible already, you know, to get here. We've been doing so much together to get to this moment. So now that journey is going to be another bonding session and a memorable one. I know that the kids are going to miss you too, but I think that they have the perfect send-off. <laughs> the perfect send-off has had the perfect result. Congratulations to Leanne and Mark, who have just summited Kilimanjaro.